or for the religion or ethnicity. We pledge to make common cause with the people of the world, to bring about justice, freedom, and peace. Another world is possible, and we pledge to make it real. That's bullshit. bullshit. How so? How so? You can have the mic after a while. Day after day, they're getting murdered. Bye. We're here to help stop You are at the wrong meeting. Okay, okay, wait, wait. wait. I didn't have the mic later. I can answer this. I can answer. Back in 78, they took 400 people hostage. That was Iran, wasn't it? That was Iran, was it not? That's the same. It's the same as Iraq, the That's same right. as Afghanistan, the same as Saudi Arabia, the right. same as everybody that the religious right. Go to Iraq! Right. Bullshit, I'm not Go to Iraq! Go to Iraq! Now. Get over there! <laughs> See you later! Get out of our country! Bullshit! All right. I'm not at the wrong meeting. You know, that's right, I do. I got the goddamn. Okay, now, why do we protest? Well, let's see. The, the Vietnam protests likely stopped the war. Another war that killed about three million people, apparently for our freedom there. Okay, we protest. Uh, people protested then, which inspired people like me that weren't even alive then to come out and protest today. It may have stopped. It stopped the draft then. We have no draft today because of that. So there's people not being forced, at least directly, to fight this war, except for stop losses and things like that. So there might not be a draft today because of the protest against Vietnam and the strong protest against the Vietnam. They have a lot of political, they don't have the political capital to start another draft. So there's one success. Well, we didn't stop the war yet. But hopefully if we can gather more numbers and actually people start speaking out, because we are the majority, people like that are not. And if that's if that's yeah. democracy that we're fighting yeah. for, then the majority should rule. Yeah. You should be ashamed of yourself. Else? Yeah. He's real proud. He's real proud. He's real proud. I would like to introduce Mark Kaufman, <laughs> who was a corporal in the United States Marine Corps. <laughs> I was in the Marine Corps from 1983 to 1987, the Reagan years and peace leaders. And the thought of going to war was a further thing to my mind. That being said, that, that being said, I can relate to these guys and I, in a way that I can't. One thing is for sure, no matter how you support them, whether it's the way we choose to do it or the way other people choose to do it, they are eternally grateful that you're just there. They are even in your thoughts. So don't ever be uh, anything less than very proud of the way you feel. As as the troops support us. Uh, the other thing is, don't fall into the trap or get tricked into rooting for your political party like it's a football game. It's not a football game. I'm not a big fan of the Republican Party and its current existence. Uh, actually, I never have any existence. <laughs> but nevertheless, it's not a football game. Don't root for your team, no matter what they say. There's way bigger issues, and, and things are way too important to, to fall into that trap. Public speaking is not exactly my forte, and there's a thousand thoughts in my mind, and communicating them. <laughs> Support the warrior, not the war. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Woo. Uh, thank you, Mark. Uh, John, do you want to say a few things?
This is an open mic, so anyone with a different opinion or any opinion at all is absolutely welcome to come up and express their point of view. And our group is committed to not interrupting and uh, yelling at them for having a different point of view. So um, I want to make sure that anyone who wants to say anything would come up and feel free to do so. Um, I wrote a letter to a number of papers in the area. I wrote a letter to a number of papers in the area. And I, the Daily Press is here. I want to thank them for publishing it. And uh, I'd like to just read it to you if you don't mind. We can support the troops and not support the occupation of Iraq. This is not a contradiction. The Bush administration went to war under false pretenses and on the cheap. There are no weapons of mass destruction. There are too few troops to have begun the war. There's not enough body armor, no exit strategy, minimal international support, and no measure for success. We're now seeing the results of a failed policy, all kinds of failed policies, and the consequent civil war in Iraq. And even the administration admits now it's a civil war in Iraq. Our troops shouldn't be there. The argument, we must continue to fight in order to support the troops, effectively paralyzes most members of Congress. They're afraid of looking politically incorrect. Uh, the litany of problems in Iraq sufficient to justify a rapid pullout is trumped by the hollow call, support the troops, yet they send them off without enough training, they send them off without enough armor, and they're expected to fight in the midst of a civil war. Has anybody asked the troops? Does, does telling the troops that they must risk their lives to fight a civil war really support them? I don't think so, for one. Do you? No! Uh, during their first tours, most troops may have well favored stay the course, whatever that meant. Uh, but now, in their second, third, and fourth tours, many are changing their mind. We see evidence of that in many news stories about unhappy troops being sent back, leaving their families. Veteran troops are speaking out. Soldiers and officers in Iraq are speaking to reporters. There's a group... Um, it's called the Appeal for Redress, where active duty, reserve, and guard service members have signed the Appeal for Redress. And they sent it to Congress. Essentially, active duty troops are saying, we can't win this. Take us out of harm's way and bring us home. And these are active duty troops. We've already gone over the cost of the war in lives, in dollars, in respect and all kinds of other ways. And most retired military generals are saying we can't win. So um, it's really time to support the troops, to really support them, and bring them home. So thanks very much. You don't understand. Hell, I understand just fine. I think most of us do. I mean, I hope to think that you understand with that reaction, you know? You know? Simple as that. People getting hurt, raped, killed, or what? Or what? And who's going to help them? Yeah, we got to go. Okay. Thank